Good morning, everybody. I'm taking today's news story from the Honolulu Star Advertiser, my local rag. Now, this story pertains to Hawaii, and it pertains to, well, that flu who shouldn't be named, the Wuhan virus, or the beer bug, if you want to be politically correct, maybe. But, it concerns lockdown rules. I'm going to talk about Hawaii's lockdown rules and a solution that is good not only for Honolulu, not good not only for Hawaii, good not only for the United States, but the entire world that locks down. First, let's see what Hawaii has decided to do. Oahu Beaches Parks and team sports will be halted once more. Oh dear, let's go on. The shutdown is back. Oahu Parks and Beaches, which reopened in May, will be closed again starting in Saturday. And it talks about the worsening Wuhan flu. On Oahu, including 150 new cases just Thursday and two new deaths. Governor David Ige and Mayor Kirk Caldwell working in tandem, working in concert, announced the new order, which they call Act With Care, Do Not Gather. Oh, is that a cringy phrase? Not only can't the left meme, they can't even come up with a decent catchphrase. Now, as you can see, all 303 city parks in Honolulu and Oahu are closing down as our 18 state-operated sites. As you can see, there's going to be no running, jogging, walking, and biking throughout the parks. The closure includes all pools, playgrounds, courts, fields, exercise equipment, dog parks, skate parks, the Coco Crater Tramway, and the People's Open Markets. What this paper doesn't say, but as it has said in other articles, is that the city and state are also going to be closing gyms, bowling alleys, and many golf courses putting more businesses out of business for good. And that, that might include our local airlines because, well, they're bringing back the two-week quarantine if you're traveling within state. So let's say you want to visit some relatives in Maui. Well, you fly to Maui, and it's going to be for a two-week visit. That entire two weeks, you're quarantined in a bedroom there. Can't do anything. Then after your two weeks of quarantine, your visit's over, you come back to Oahu. Guess what? Another two-week quarantine because you moved from one part of the state to the other, from one island to the other. So for that two-week visit, you, you're going to spend four weeks in quarantine. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to quarantine the entire population. Now I'm going to show you a chart, and that chart will offer a solution to how the state could better help control the Wuhan flu that's raging through Hawaii. Let's go to that chart now. Here it is. Here is the chart. Hawaii coronavirus cases, hospitalizations, and deaths by age. This actually tells the entire story. Let's look at one group in particular. My group. If you're 60 plus, you only represent 15% of the cases, but you're going to represent 
of the hospitalized and 84% of the deaths. So does it really make sense to quarantine, to lock down the entire state when one small segment of the population is causing all the problems? Now, I'm not saying this small percentage of oldsters like me should be quarantined. Here's a better solution. Open up the state entirely. No more quarantine. No more closures. Just open it fully. Now, once you have it fully opened, let the state spend a little money advertising the fact that if you're old, these are the odds stacked against you in case you get the Wuhan flu. But the state could also do things like, say, encourage businesses like shopping markets and stores to open, say, their first hour or two exclusively for the oldsters. I know that where I shop, this used to be done when the state was closed down, where only old people are gathering since they only represent 15% of the cases, especially if they do social distancing and wear masks, the odds of one person contaminating the other are extremely low. Also, do this. Encourage the old people, like myself, to stay away from large gatherings. Don't go to the gym. Don't go to the bowling alley. Don't go to mini golf courses. Don't go to a rock concert. Don't go to a comedy club. Stay away from large gatherings. Something I'm doing anyway. But the state may want to advertise this. And the state may also say, take care of our old people. If you see an old person, please be sure to be extra careful about social distancing because they're the most likely people to be hospitalized or die in case they get this disease. So, if we all act in concert to help one another, there is no reason for the state to be closed down at all. There's no reason for any state, any country to be closed down at all. These stats here, these are Hawaii stats, but your state, our country, the world stats are probably pretty damn similar.